welcome to Tech Checker today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up this uh, One's View 1080p IP Camera Pro HD Wi-Fi it's a waterproof outdoor IP camera with night vision um, I've got the white version it works with Google Play and Apple as well as a Mac and a PC so there's the box, it's got all the details on it full HDP resolution support outdoor waterproof IP66 one key Wi-Fi configuration via mobile app need to connect to external mic easy to set up 100% plug and play via iOS and Android high quality two-way audio you need to connect an external mic uh, high definition video and audio recording, local micro SD storage up to 64 gigabytes, free iOS and Android and Windows and Mac software, motion detector, send picture or video to micro SD, FTP and email. So I'm quite looking forward to this. Okay. So in the box we've got a quick start. Um, quick start guide got a nice sticker to warn people that they're on CCTV a CD which love the software on no doubt another manual which is a bit more in depth And then we've got a aerial some raw plugs and screws a patch lead cat 5e a power supply it's a UK UK power supply and the camera itself and also a screwdriver inside check out missed anything else so that's it okay so on the top we've got a, a sun hood which is adjustable so the, oh and there's an allen key as well there's a sun hood which is adjustable depending on how much shade you need over the lens just leave that there and obviously it's adjustable left and right and up and down as well now on the end of the plug which is I'll just measure this cable for you It is from the inside to the plug itself. It's 30 inches or 76 centimeters, so you've got a good length of cable to go through a wall, etc. Obviously, it's going to need to be a fairly large hole to fit the cable through if you're going to fit the, this through. got a aerial port on the back and that screws into there if you're going to use it through the wireless has three screws to undo the camera to get to the micro SD which I will do now just so that you can see handy they comes they give you a screwdriver with it which is nice so we're under these three
that's undone them. And you can pull the camera out and the micro SD card is just in there. Comes with a micro SD card. Comes with an 8GB Kingston SD card. Now I'm going to change that straight away. I'm going to put a bigger card in there. Save me opening it later on. Okay, so I've got a 64 gigabyte card I'm going to stick in there. That's what it'll go up to, so that's what I'm going to stick in it. Once that's done, then obviously, oh, once that's done, I have to get in there again. For the sake of, you can pick 64 gig cards up now for anything from £10 onwards, you can adjust the camera's uh, focus. I'm going to leave that for the moment. Obviously if that needs to be done I will do it when I need to do it. So I'm just going to slide it back in. And I'm going to fix in the bolts back in, the screws back in. So it's nice that they give you a um, a card with it comes with a eight gigabyte but as I say it takes up to 64 and while you've got it I would suggest that you upgrade it straight away rather than having to muck about later on and obviously I'd recommend getting a, a good quality card rather than a cheaper card you don't want a failure and have to open it up again So that's all screwed in and tightened up. Just double check all the screws. Okay. So now I've put in a better, a better card. I can put that to my side now. Okay. So on the end here, we have some switches. Get them in order. So you have a, a video, audio, power, alarm in, alarm out, and a reset switch. So let's just get this. Go straight to the quick guide. Okay, so installation guide CD for a PC. I'm going to be using a PC and a Mac, but I'm going to set up on my PC, um, on my Mac for the moment. So, get started the camera, the antenna. I'm going to stick that on. Probably won't end up using it, but I'll probably end up using the cable, but I'll stick it on. It's handy for. Uh, a backup stick that on, make sure it's nice and tight, put the area up, okay. So that's on, so then you need a power which is here. So I'm gonna plug this in. Initially you're gonna need to connect it wired to get it going, but then you can use it wireless after. So, okay, so I'm going to plug that into the power. I'll just take you through this. So it's got a power. It's got a audio and a microphone. One's audio, one's microphone. A reset switch, and then you've got an alarm in and out. I'll just check that in the book, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. So there's an easy setup guide here. <coughs> Contents. So it's telling you to connect the antenna, which I've done. Just move that out of the way. 
don't want to lose those. And the power adapter, right, get started. Let's see how long it's going to take us. So there's the time, it's 8.21. So we'll time it, see how long it takes to actually get this up and running. Connect the antenna to the back of the camera. Done. Connect the power to the camera and plug it into the outlet. Done. Go to the App Store, Google Play and search for iSmartView Pro. So let me get my phone. Go to the Google Play Store. I What is it called? I Smart View Pro. And I've got no network connection. Hold on, let me just connect to the internet quickly. Might help. Okay, let's just turn it on. So I'll connect to the internet now. Right. So iSmart Pro, it's at the top there. Click on the app, click install, accept, install. That's now installing the device. While that's doing that, I'm gonna connect the included network cable into the camera that's going to start flashing right the red ones to say it's connecting and the green ones to say it's transmitting you're going to need to do this to start with connect it to your router so that you can do the initial setup so then I go to open um, Add camera. Right, so I'm going to use. Uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can do a LAN scan, and it's now going to search the LAN, and it's found the camera that way. Or I can do a QR scan, and then all you have to do is line it up with a barcode. And it's found it. Right, so the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Connecting online. And that's the picture. Upside down. So to actually get it initially started, it's now. Um, 19, 24 minutes past. I can't remember what time we started it to be fair, but it hasn't taken very long anyway. So the camera's now connected, that's working. Now I'll go back onto the app and then I go back, quick plan. Go to uh, just show you again. So when you're on this menu, there is a a little arrow there. So I'm clicking at the little arrow. That brings up the camera's name, uh, camera ID, admin, password. Um, app receives the alarm, so it sends an alarm to the app. Go to advanced settings. Go to Wi-Fi settings. Just gonna connect it to my network. So I just don't want you to see the password. Connect. Right, so that's now connected to my network, my wireless network. Um, then you've got alarm settings, time settings, trans flash. So I've stuck a new card in there. 
So I'm going to format the card as it's a new card then it will be initialized for the device. I've already formatted it once in the computer but obviously I want to format it in the camera then I know that it's completely compatible with the camera and there won't be an issue. It's going to take a couple of seconds to format that. Okay, so it's saying that there's, oh, I'm sorry, look at that, it's saying that there's 59.594, 59, 59 um, rather than the 64, um, obviously it does take some up for the device, etc, etc. SD trans flash card recording. I'm going to click yes. Record overwrite. I'm going to leave yes. That means when it's filled up, it automatically overwrites it so that um, you're never going to run out of space. You just keep writing to the card, and then it obviously take the oldest file and write over that. So I go back. And just check that saved. Nope. Right. So you got to make sure that you click. Click the click the button and then click done. Just go back and check that. So that stayed there now. So you've got to make sure that you hit the, the mouse settings. I'm not going to set that up at the moment. Obviously, it's the same as your if you go into your mail settings on your computer, it's going to be the same sender, your SMTP. It depends on if you're um, using Windows or Mac, it could be an IMAP, it could be uh, your own server, it could be SMTP, um, and that will you have to fill that out yourself. FTP now, if you've got a um, domain name or a web service with web hosting. Like I have, you can put the details in there, and it obviously will upload to the um, website, which is very handy. So that's formatted the camera cards. That's all complete. Check that. Right, okay. Back. Don't think there's anything else in there. About camera. Tells you the firmware version. I'm not going to touch any of that. User settings, admin, and the passwords 123456. Wi Fi settings are already done. That's pretty straightforward. Time settings, that's correct. GMT, alarm settings, motion detect alarm. So I'll do that. Um, save picture on SD card, save video on SD card. Um, and then later on when you've obviously got your um, FT, if you've got an FTP server you can click on that as well it's saved to that um, send email and alarm you can have that done as well I'm going to leave that off for a minute I will set that up myself later once I've got the camera actually fixed to the building um, yep and that's pretty straightforward No alarm log. Right, okay, so that's that. So that's all set up. Can zoom in. You can add another camera if you buy another one, you can add another one. Um, what else can you do to it? Change the resolution. You can pinch and zoom in. Uh, 
So where's the... So it's literally taken... Let's put in 1080p. So that's in maximum resolution. It's crystal clear. I mean, let's zoom right in. There we can see that. No problem, obviously that's live. There's my hand in front of it now. Hand up, hand down, hand up. There is a, a very, very slight delay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just go to my Apple. I'm going to do a quick screen share so you can see the web interface on a Mac. And obviously if you've got a um, PC, comes with a disc as well and you can use the PC software. I'm using a Mac so I'm going to do it via the Mac. So the next footage you'll see will be of the um, web browser view. Okay so this is the um, internet app through which you can get through your uh, web browser. Now I've found out that the camera on my camera it's assigned to 192.168.1.23 obviously your one will be different um, I've got a lot of devices and obviously everyone's um, IP address is going to be slightly different it's a general router IP address but the end digits it could be a zero and it also could be a different number here depending on your um, device if you go into your router settings you can see attached devices if you look on the app I'm pretty sure on the app there was something on there to show you the device where it was um, so basically this is the um, the mode um, I'm doing this on Firefox at the moment I'm gonna connect up to it so there's a live view let me put my hand in front of it there's a live view so you've got a video set up sort of side Right, let's do that. Right, there's a the live view, then you've got setup. So you've got um, it's connected via wire at the moment. Obviously, I'll be disconnecting that in a minute and it will be wireless. Um, in recording schedule, it's got a trans flash card which I've already formatted, which I've shown you already. The time's already I've set up. Pan and tilt won't work with this camera, but if you add an extra camera to it, you might have one which does have a pan and tilt uh, feature. Other is the LED and the Wi Fi LED. I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, the maintenance to reboot it, restore to defaults, backup settings. Um, um, you can back up to a file and you can also upgrade, obviously, your firmware, etc. And about is the IP camera's name, firmware, system firmware time, and the web UI firmware. And we've got network, and it shows you what um, what the IP address is, the subnet mask, uh, gateway, which is the router's IP address. Um, all these sort of things, I would leave alone to be honest with you that's the wi-fi what's set up on the phone dns leave all that if you start mucking around with this you're going to have all sorts of trouble obviously the ftp you can set up later if you've got an ftp and your smtp for sending an email if there is a motion detected you can send a test email once you've set it all up it's basically the same as your email in your email folder it'd be um, smtp dot whatever you are sky uh, bt broadband whatever and then obviously your username your password your sender's address will be the sender's email and then whoever you want it to go to the email you can have your email to yourself or your partner or yourself and your partner uh, the mail subject will be obviously alarm you can change that to put um, CCTV whatever um, what else have we got video and audio right I've clicked it no audio I haven't got audio I haven't got an audio device fitted to it you can fit a microphone and a speaker to it I'm not gonna bother this is for a 
um, outside above my front door. I'm not really bothered about having a speaker to speak to someone. As long as I can see if anyone's trying to get into the house or get into the cars, that's what it's designed for. Audio, obviously it's off, but you can adjust the mic volume and the speaker volume. The image, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, hue. I'm going to leave that because obviously eventually it's going to be going outside. You can flip it or mirror it depending on how the camera's orientated when you fixed it. If it turns out that it's upside down, you can flip it or vice versa. Or if you get a better angle, if you like mirror it, you can do that. Night vision, um, you can turn it off or on. I'm leaving it on. Shift mode, I'm leaving to auto. Um, security, um, the administrator, I'm leaving all that leaving all that alarm motion detector so the window one sensitivity obviously the audio detection is not going to work because i've got a microphone but if you've got a microphone it will also not just pick up if it hears see someone it will also um, start recording if it hears someone so if someone approaches the camera at an angle the camera can't see them it might still catch their voices which is obviously handy as well um, alarm action it will then obviously snapshot to email snapshot to FTP record to FTP snapshot to transflash record to transflash um, and there's several others I'm going to save that so I record to the SD card and then obviously your alarm time I'm just going to leave it on all the time at the moment if you decide you could cut out certain times of the day so you can have it just recorded overnight um, or just recording in the day um, I'm going to just leave that for the moment obviously I might muck about with that later storage is the micro SD card which I've already formatted and as I say it's come up to 59 um, gigabyte rather than 64 that's just how some systems are it is a 64 gigabyte card it's shown as 60 basically so transflash in capture SD and transflash capture timing snapshot let's have that on timing interval um, you can have it snapping all the time for 30 seconds. I'm going to leave it on 30 seconds. Then, same with this recording duration between, oh, let's change that. Snapshot intervals 30 seconds. So, that will snap every 30 seconds. Recording duration um, 120 seconds, so it's 2 minutes. And that record to the um, SD card again, and then you got your log, which will say all about the format in the SD cards, etc. etc. So, and obviously, the time's different because I've changed the time to UK time in the meantime. So, I'm going to um, delete the log so it's all fresh. Ah, oh, what's this window here? So, yeah, it just shows video one, video two. I'm going video two for some reason. Video one didn't work. Um, and you've got 1080p, and obviously you've got a lower quality and an even lower quality. And obviously you can see there just how bad that quality is. But obviously, if you're watching on a mobile phone and you're in a really bad area it might be the only way you can connect through the lower resolution at least it's something that's the full hd one which is a nice clear picture so there you go i'm going to go back to the um phone now and finish the video off so that was all pretty straightforward let's do this back up okay and the other thing i forgot to do was now that I've done all the settings on the device, I'm going to unplug it. So it is now wireless. So I'm going to go back. Okay, it's disconnected obviously. It's now connected via the wireless. And now it's working again. 
and that's working with the aerial there's the wires to show that it's not connected in anymore and that was pretty straightforward so within the space of less than 10 minutes it's all set up and ready to go obviously all I need to do now is to drill a hole in the side of the house for the wire to run through obviously you're going to need a fairly big hole to accommodate the jack let me measure that for you because everything comes off of that it is 19 millimeters that way by 21 millimeters that way and diagonal 28 so you're going to need a 28 mil bit so you're going to need quite a hefty bit to get it through but obviously once you've drilled the hole this is obviously going to go over it and cover it once you fed the wires through this is going to go over the hole and cover it so all you will see will be that you can run the wire through there and obviously connect it into something or run it upwards even have that going up and into your roof um, obviously I want to have it at a low level you don't want anyone cutting it it sort of defeats the whole point of it so anyway hopefully this has um, helped some people out just to show you I haven't even looked at the main manual that's how easy this was to set up it's literally taken 10 minutes to set up hopefully this video has helped you if it has please leave a comment below and give me the thumbs up and if you're watching it on YouTube the link will be in the description below of where to buy on Amazon and also give me the thumbs up good luck and hopefully this will help someone and stop some burglars in the future